almost 35 years now and living out here on the ranch for over 25 years. So we're empty nesters and we said we want a place that meets a lot of uh, certain standards and attributes, things that we believed in, things that we appreciated, things that we enjoyed. We wanted something that was totally unique, but that was low maintenance. <laughs> that was the key. This is actually the highest topographic location from here to the Gulf of Mexico. And so by getting above the tree canopy, we were able to create an environment that we could live in that appeared to be a forest because you literally couldn't see any of the homes around us. So when we looked at this house and the things that we wanted to do and the design with our architects and the engineers, we said we want to do as many things as we can do to demonstrate not just sustainability features, but realistic, practical ways to take advantage of certain attributes. Being above the tree line, having such great access to the sky, with the slope of the roof line, we capture a pretty significant solar potential. On an average day, it's running anywhere from 75% to 150% of our daily consumption. I wanted somebody that was was putting in the best equipment, the highest yield, the most efficient panels that would be there for a long, long time. And I also wanted it designed in a way that could be upgraded. I wasn't going to just jump in with both feet not knowing how deep the water was. So now in our third expansion, we're at about 60 panels. What we wanted this house to be was an example in many areas of low impact development and sustainable products and sustainable construction techniques. I mean, at the end of the day, we're producing more energy than we're using. 